Paradise in London and I'm here for a very special reason and that reason is Pink Diamonds. Now this event has been organised by Rio Tinto who are the owners and operators of the Argyle Mine in Australia that produces the greatest number, and not many let me say, of Pink Diamonds which are one of the rarest colours of diamonds. Now here behind me are 42 pieces of Pink Diamond jewellery worth some $65 million making this perhaps the greatest gathering ever of Pink Diamonds. So we're going to have a look at these amazing creations as well as the stones themselves and talk to experts about why pink diamonds are so special. I'm with Josephine Johnson who is the manager of the Agawa Pink Diamonds and Josephine is going to tell us how pink diamonds are formed. Um, we know that they're 1.6 billion years old, but we're not quite sure how they came to have their colour. What we do know is that all diamonds are produced under pressure, but pink diamonds even more so, and it caused a slight twist in the crystal lattice, and that makes light refract through the diamond, and it comes out in the colour spectrum that's at the far end of the rainbow, so if you think of the pinks, the reds or the blues, 90% of the world's pink diamonds come from the Argyle mine, yet they're only one-tenth of one percent of the mine production. So one -tenth just handfuls. <laughs> I hear there's an interesting story behind how the Argyle mine was discovered. The mine is located in the far northwest of Western Australia, an area called the Kimberley, which is vast. And the gentleman who eventually did discover the mine was standing there one day in this incredible landscape and he looked at an anthill next to him and there was a rough diamond in the anthill and he was in fact standing on top of what is now known as the AK1 pipe, which is the Argyle mine. Amazing, so the ants have the been ants. bringing up diamonds. Yes. <laughs> is a man who knows about pink diamonds as he is a jeweller specialising in these stones from Australia. To see them in one room, all together in some of the most spectacular jewels and designs I've ever seen, this just blows me away. This is absolutely amazing. But they are just so precious and so rare. And when you behold one of them, they're mesmerising. You can look at it for literally hours and I, as a designer, it's what I do. They are just a jewel that I regret every one that I've ever sold. <laughs> you can't get them back. Because they can be from anywhere from 20 to 100 times more in price than an equivalent white diamond. So pink diamonds are the tip top. You can't get any better. They're, they're, they're the, the absolute uh, <laughs> top of the tree. Fantastic, thank you, John. That's all right, Marie. Thank you. <laughs> but you've got to see this. Mm -hmm.